Morning everybody, Claire here from Rainbow Acrylics. Do you remember a few weeks ago um, I did um, a triptych, a Dutch pour triptych called Cherry Blossom. It was um, a grey background and it was pale pink, silver, blue um, on the as the Dutch pour design. Um, it was a commission and it was gorgeous. I was so, so happy with it. Um, anyway, I was looking through my old paints the other day and I found this. This is the base colour for that triptych and this is just left over. So I've got almost a pint's worth of leftover base colour. Um, so I'm gonna do another one with really, really similar colours. Um, not a triptych, um, I'm gonna do a 55, 50 centimetre square canvas this time because um, I think that's that's that paint should cover it. I'm going to use, I'll show you my paints, I'm gonna use Amsterdam paints, um, these three colours. So this one is Caput Mortem Violet. I'm using the Sky Blue from Amsterdam and I'm using a Pale Pink from Amsterdam. Then Pebio Studio Acrylic Paints, Silver, Pearl White and Payne's Grey. Um, the grey here was mixed with Amsterdam White um, with a little bit of the Payne's Grey in to give it a slightly bluer grey, um, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm using. All paints have been mixed with the UK Floatrol and I mixed them two parts Floatrol, one part paint to one and a half parts water, except for the metallics where I've added the two parts water because the metallics are slightly thicker. Um, so I'm all ready to start, so let's go. So the first thing I'm doing is just checking my canvas is level. I'm just putting the, the level on all four edges of the canvas. Yep, it's absolutely spot on. Um, I've used the large push pins on this um, canvas because I, I like that because it, it means I can get my hands right underneath it. Um, I can pick it up really easily. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is just cover um, the canvas in the base color. So now the canvas is covered, I'm going to just burst the air bubbles uh, with the blowtorch. Um, there shouldn't be too many air bubbles because this was mixed up a long time ago, this paint. However, I have just had to add a little bit of extra water to it just to thin it down slightly because over time it just naturally thickens. Right, so I'm going to put my colours down. Um, I think I'm going to do, um, I haven't done a square canvas for a while, and um, I think I'm just going to do my lovely S shape. Um, so let's think about the order of these paints. I quite like alternating the, the light and the dark if I can. Um, if we start with a light, because then that would be nice contrast with the grey, um, and then dark. Something like that, maybe. So this is the pearl white. This is the violet. Now I didn't use this in the original piece. I used a metallic version, um, but I had that mixed up already. So I thought actually, let's just, let's go with that. Um, silver, little bit of the Payne's Grey, I don't want to do too much of this but I just think it really works for contrast, and it's got a slightly bluey tone to it, the um, Payne's Grey, so it's, it's really pretty. Um, the Amsterdam Sky Blue. And then the Amsterdam pink. I think it's the rose pink light, this one. Right, so they're all down. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more paint. So for this pour, I am not going to put any extra gray or surrounding it. I'm not gonna flood it at all. So I just want to make sure I've got enough paint here in the center. 
I might end up overdoing it with paint, but I would rather have too much um, than not enough. Just a little bit more of the pearl white, my favourite, favourite colour. Um, a bit more blue and then a little bit more of the pale pink. Actually, let's go pale pink first. And then a pale blue. Done. Great. So there's lots of air bubbles in that paint that I've just added, so I'm just going to burst them. Wow, wow, wow. I forgot how amazing these colours are. The dark pink next to the light pink. Right, I'm just going to leave this for a couple of minutes just to see what cells develop. In fact, let's give it a little torch first because that will help things. So it's been about five minutes um, and the difference is huge. I don't know if you can see it. I'll show you in the close-up in a minute. Cells are just popping up everywhere. And the cells that are coming up seem to be the, they're metallic mostly. So they seem to be the silver or the um, pearl white, not sure which. Um, I am so, so happy with this. It is gorgeous. I love the colors. Um, I don't really want to do interfere with it too much. Um, I want to just do a little bit of extra blowing just in a couple of spots. There's quite a lot of intense colour here and here. I'm just going to blow that over the edges. Um, and I'd quite like to just try and blow that petal out a little bit more just to make it slightly rounder um, if I can. But I don't want to do too much because I don't want to, um, I don't want to ruin it. There you are, that's just slightly softer there now. I'm happier with that. And then if I can just try and blow that bit round, I think, then I will leave it. Which is a miracle for me, because I normally end up doing lots of extra blowing around. Oh, take my necklace off. I've had my necklace in a paintings before. <laughs> that will not look be good. I think that might be it. I've got my hands in it, but that's okay. It's just along the edge. I think I'm just going to leave it. If I do any blowing around the edges, I'm going to ruin the cells that are there, and their cells are just gorgeous. So that is it. Amazing. Let me get you in for a close up. Right, so you're now seeing it from the other angle, from my angle. Um, so let me show you. Let me go in for a close up. Um, I am so happy with these colours. Wow, I've just noticed something. Can you see that Payne's Grey, that really dark bit there? It looks purple. So the blue, the Payne's Grey, because, it, because it's blue, it's obviously mixed with a bit of the pink and I've got I've actually got a purple tinge there. I wasn't expecting that. Um, right, let me just show you some of the gorgeous detail. Some of these cells. I love the way it's very, very pale and then you just get this burst of cells at the end. Um, I think that's why um, so many people thought the last one looked like cherry blossom, so I ended up naming it cherry blossom. Um, so I think this one's going to have to be uh, cherry blossom the second because it, it, looks, it looks very, very similar, which is interesting because I didn't flood it at all. With the last one, I tried not to blow the paint over, but I did extra add extra grey, whereas this one, I haven't. I just tried to add more centre colour. 
Um, just look at this amazing band here. Just look at the way the colours are all sort of sweep next to each other. And now that is a big block of, I think it's silver, silver all there, and then the pearl white. So just when this is dry and when this is varnished, it's just going to sparkle. It's going to look gorgeous. Oh, I am so happy. Um, great, I'll be back when it's dry. Just one other very quick thing. Um, can you see along the edge of the canvas there's the drips? So what you must, must do um, is just take a stick and just run that along the edge all the way along because that drip is quite heavy and what that will do is cause all the paint um, to be pulled off the surface of the canvas. Um, let me show you the other side. So if you want your painting to stay as it is now or as hopefully as close to this as possible, you must remove all the drips. Um, if you can, remove them straight after painting, but then also go back again half an hour later and do it again. Great. So I'll be back when it's dry. So it's now completely dry. Um, I absolutely love this painting. So it's so similar to the Massive Commission, um, which works so well. So I'm just so happy I've had paints left over to do some more, more painting similar. Um, I want to try and show you, if I can, the iridescent paint um, because it, it's absolutely gorgeous. Can you see just how shimmery this is, um, the silver? Um, and here, here, and there's a thin layer of it here and here. I don't know if you can really see it from the phone, from the camera. Um, look, at, look, can you see here? It's just, it's beautiful. It just really stands out and shimmers beautifully. Um, it's it's everywhere. The colours are absolutely stunning. Love them. Um, I love the bit of dark Payne's grey in there, the silver, the pink, the pale blue. I'm just so happy with it. Composition wise, I think it, this, it works so well on this size canvas, the 50 by 50 centimetres. Um, really love it. So you've got the negative space, but not too much negative space. I'm not a fan of having too much. Um, the details are just gorgeous. Um, if I take you in for a real close-up you can just see some of these cells um, they're just so delicate and just so pretty um, a lot of my artwork is so bold and bright and a bit gaudy whereas this is just so pretty and um, sort of dainty really um, really really happy with it um, great so there it is um, thank you so much for watching um, please subscribe to my channel, um, hit the notification bell um, and leave me any comments. Thank you. Bye.